What's up everybody? I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs and today we're gonna take it back old school back when I had flowing locks of hair. The year was 1995 and this Chinook was an amazing beast. Yeah, it sat kind of low but with purple stripes and purple interior, God, the days, you know, nothing like that anymore in 2022. But uh, we did some pretty cool stuff to it in 2022 here at Weld Tech Designs, and I'm gonna show you just what we did. Let's go. All right, so we did all kinds of fun stuff to this. Uh, well, I guess maybe not all kinds, but we did do a killer job on the suspension, putting our Baja Grocery Getter kit with our rear springs, which is our complete performance package. And now before we really jump into all this, I'm gonna ask you guys, while you're here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're putting out stuff every day now with all kinds of YouTube shorts and craziness. Um, so help us out, smash that subscribe button, and give it a big thumbs up. So, I wanna know, where were you in 1995? Comment below, tell me where you were at. I'm gonna give away one of these cool new WeldTech hats to somebody that comments. So, we're gonna jump down into this thing, and we did a couple things different on this. So, you know that normally the hubcaps get powder coated. Well, on this one, the actual, the wheels got powder coated on this, and it does look pretty good. You know, it's definitely not bad. Um, it, I'm going to say it still needs a little bit bigger tire on here, but you know, maybe that is to come along with maybe a front bumper. That would look nice. So this is a diesel van. You can see that this got our coil springs, our Fox shocks, our extended radius arms, and just a mountain of room back here in this wheel well. So when you do go to that bigger tire, now one thing that this does have differently on there, and if you're gonna add a steering stabilizer to your Chinook or maybe your diesel van, make sure you order the diesel one. And just so you know, it does require some welding in order to install it, but that thing is buff and looks really nice. Now, another big thing, this is one of the big things that I wanna talk about on this because the old school I-beams sway bars were horrible. They had bar pins that went into the I-beams which just suck for articulation. So what we've done on this is we've upgraded the sway bar to 2008 and newer, so basically like 2022 stuff as well as the sway bar links. We didn't stop there. We even put new style beams on it as well. So now all of the front end is going to be 2022 model parts, as well as that sway bar allowing it to articulate without spending a ton of money on a heavy duty aftermarket sway bar, which in my opinion, is not worth it when you do your suspension correctly like we've done here, as well as a lift, you know? Well, that's really cool all up here in the front of it. It definitely looks nice. And uh, one other thing to think about, if you have an older Chinook, one really nice thing about our lift kit is the preventative maintenance side of it. So while we're in there, we, can, we replace the radius arm bushings and I-beam bushings at no charge. That's part of the lift kit. And heck, while we're installing it, if you need ball joints replaced, we can do that as well here at Weld Tech Design. So we got you covered. So this is pretty much a new front end like you were driving it off that showroom in 1995, but we're heading to the back. All right, so maybe I went all the way to the back a little bit too far and missed the rear suspension. But what I like about this is this rear entry. So I know one popular thing in the Chinooks was the rear entry and the side entry. So for those of you that have one over the other, I would love to hear what you like better and why you chose that. To me, I was kind of digging the side entry because I like all the space on the inside of it. Now, of course, I'm doing another Chinook right now. You'll be sure to see it where we're doing a whole rear bumper setup on the back of it that's gonna be able to carry a box and a spare tire. It's gonna be a dual swing setup. So now the only negative about that would be well, when I come back here, I couldn't just exit out. I'd have to open up my doors in order to get out the back. But I'm like, hey, usually I'm setting up camp. I open up everything and I'm good to go. I wanna be backed up to the beach, hanging out at the beach. I don't know. 
So that's why I love asking you guys. I know all of you out there in YouTube land are a ton of help letting me know what is the better, you know, maybe something I didn't even think about. So that's it. Let's head, we're really going to the rear suspension now. Let's go. All right, so as we jump to the back of this, you're gonna notice, yes, that's awesome blacked out wheel. That is actually the wheel. Still 225, 75, 16 tires on there, but you can see that there is a ton of room in here for running that larger tire when you go to do so. So we talked about preventative maintenance a little bit on the front end. Let's talk about it in the rear end. So most likely your older 1995 Chinook, heck even 2000, we see a lot of them. The bushings are completely rotted out. They may not even have a lot of miles on them, but just from sitting, the bushings are shot, the shackles are shot on these older vehicles. So another great thing is, is we're putting a whole new leaf spring set in there in order to get you the lift. Well, that new leaf spring set is also going to have new shackle or new bushings in the front and rear of it as well. And if you have an older Chinook and you plan on doing this at home, I recommend you just add the shackles to your leaf spring build as you're already going to have your leaf springs out. The cost of them is pretty minute in the big scheme of things. Replace those things, get it done and get it out of your mind that you ever have to do it again. The last thing that we did do in the back of this was added a set of Fox shocks to the rear. I mean, this thing is just beautiful. It's awesome. I'm, the more I hang out here, I'm like, man, this, this burgundy is rad. And now here's another fun fact, guys. I learned that whatever color the exterior is, the interior is the same. We'll jump in there. We'll check that out to verify it, you know? The curtains match the drapes or something like i don't i don't who knows let's go check it out well i'm gonna verify it it is true the curtains do match the drapes and uh we definitely have the purplish maroon in here this thing is just ultra sweet i love all the wood and what's really nice about these is the wood is solid in here versus like you see a lot of these new rvs and the wood is just like fake wood junk and it falls apart. I mean, this thing is coming up on 30 years old and just looks amazing in here. This is pretty rad. There it was, this awesome Chinook and on an E350 chassis, 1995. Man, how I'd love to go back to 1995 and know what I know now, but know it back then, right? Like I'd be half as smart as I am now maybe. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions about this build or how we love building out your Chinook, please leave them in the comments down below. I know you've smashed that subscribe button. I'll put another friendly reminder up right here. And heck, while I'm asking for favors, head over to Jeremy's World 10, smash the subscribe button over there as well. I'm all doing all kinds of fun stuff. Otherwise, that's it. Comment down below. Somebody out there is gonna win a cool Weld Tech hat. You know, who doesn't want one of those, right? I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs. I'll see you guys in the next video.